What's worse, Ufman's lying or his ketchup stains? <laughs> sorry, sorry, let's be serious. Ufman ibn Farouk is an expert in the Quran, the Hadith, and all things Islam. He went abroad to study in the Islamic world. I sent an application uh, to Emirates. They told me, you're a US citizen, just go. So I went. Alhamdulillah, they gave you a three-month visa. I studied. He received a master's degree. I joined the Islamic University there. Alhamdulillah, I got my master's. I got my master's in hadith and things. He spends hours researching the best books to buy. Each one of these books I've spent at least a few hours, some of them days and months, researching. Uh, I sit hours and hours at night, me and my seven-year-old daughter, we research different books. So each one of these books I've spent hours and hours and hours trying to find, make sure what is the most accurate. And has amassed a library worth more than a Lamborghini. This costs more than a Lamborghini. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, uh, Sometimes he reads an entire volume or even two in a single night. Sometimes I'm researching a certain subject and I'll sit and I'll read through a couple of volumes uh, in a night. So why then is he so utterly clueless about the basic terminology of his field? The original Mus'haf has no dietary marks, it has no dots. Did you catch it? Let's play it again, real slow. No dietary marks. <laughs> dietary marks? Like halal stickers? Really, Ufman? Maybe your Quran has dietary marks in it, but mine sure doesn't. Hmm, let's see if we can get to the bottom of this mystery. When Sheikh Ufman is in the San Diego area, he likes to go to Balboa Park to do Dawa. He has a big sign that invites Christians to come and ask their questions. Strangely, when a knowledgeable Christian is in the park, the offer becomes null and void. Case in point, when Avery of God Logic Apologetics recently tried to ask the Sheikh a question, his people told Avery to leave. I'd love to talk to you guys. We appreciate it. Move on. Move on from what? Just away from here. We appreciate it. Tried to convince Ufman to run away. Sure, sure. Here we go. Yeah, but but I, have, I have a question about... And acted like children stepping on chairs and raising pamphlets to block his camera. Usually he would have run, but desperate to impress internet celebrity Sneeko, Ufman decided to play. You can answer the verse from the Bible, mm -hmm. I'll talk. Okay, go ahead. After promising to answer Avery's question, Ufman distracted as long as possible, waffling on and on and on about the NIV that Avery supposedly loves, and treating Sneeko like a baby in need of protection from the big scary questions. Is that a contradiction? Let me ask Be you quiet, something. please. Let, 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 let him answer, let, please. Let me ask you Bro, first. let him answer. Hold on, hold on. Sneeko, don't, let him answer. Then he tried to run. Again. Anyway, we have to leave. Oh, we, no, we, no! Yeah, yeah. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. Why do you want to leave keep, now? Keep... But failed and was forced to answer a question about contradictory Quran readings. We're dealing with the Arabic. This is the question to you. Is it objecta or objectu? Which one is it? Because they both change it. In his desperation to make something up on the spot, Ufman first pretended he never heard of the Hamza Quran. Same bird. Yep. Or the Kalib. Hamza, 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 Hamza or Kalib, whatever you want to call it. Show it. What's the Hamza Quran? What's the Hamza Quran? You, you, don't, you, you don't know what the Hamza Quran is? A shocking claim from a self proclaimed expert. And then, when he was pressed, he suddenly claimed to know all about it, offering the following explanation for the difference. Is a Mus'haf of Uthman radiallahu anhu. The original Mus'haf has no dietary marks, it has no dots. The original Mus'haf has no dietary marks? Well, I guess that is technically true, since no Quran has dietary marks. But how does that explain anything? He meant diacritical marks, you might say. It is easy to say the wrong thing in live speech. Did he really, though? Sure, it is easy to misspeak. It is easy to slip in words from elsewhere in the conversation that are rattling around in your brain. 
It is easy to accidentally repeat the opponent's position instead of negating it. Indeed, Avery did just that a few minutes prior, accidentally saying NIV when he meant ESV. But using a totally unrelated word not mentioned anywhere in the conversation is not a normal speech error. Furthermore, when Avery said the wrong thing, Ufman accused him of lying. When he brought up a particular question, I used the NIV study Bible to use an answer that I agreed with wait, because wait, it was in line Bible? with the scripture. Which study Bible? The ESV study oh, Bible. Oh, he just said NIV. I never said NIV. Well, Allah, he just he said an IV. He said an IV. So, well, Allah, so, everybody in the chat, did he not say an IV? He said an IV. Chat, chat, chat. chat. Oh, did he not say an IV? Did he say an IV or no? Chat. So anyway, so, so, so you asked the question. Mode. So I, he I just lied. The, the lied. He then kept bringing it back up every time he got stuck on some other unrelated point. I said he is. He said NIV. And, and if, I did, if I did say NIV, I just spoke. Now, now, he, now, he's, now he's changing. No, I'm right? just saying. I, I don't, when you're I lying, it's your problem. But if I did, I just spoke. Yes, Ufman. Avery totally said NIV intentionally as a lie that would contradict his own position for no apparent reason. <laughs> but hey, we'll go with it. Ufman's position is that no one ever misspeaks. So the only explanation for an errant statement is it's a lie. You liar! That means there's only two possibilities. Either Ufman actually doesn't know the term diacritical marks, or he does and he's intentionally deceiving, saying dietary marks to avoid making a statement about diacritical marks while hoping no one will notice the difference. But let's be generous and not use Ufman's ridiculous standard against him and say maybe he misspoke. Problem is, Ufman never once says diacritical, and much later in the conversation, again, calls them dietary marks. Once again, when you look at Arab in the Arabic language, it changes with the dietary marks, right? People don't twice misuse the same word in different contexts without any explanation. So either Ufman was not paying attention and was thinking about what his nutritionist said earlier. Not, not everything needs gravy or we're back to the possibilities of ignorance and deceit. Or maybe he was just reading this Quran. It's halal. Go ahead and take a bite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Given Ufman's ignorance about all kinds of things, that seems plausible enough. Indeed, he regularly says stupid things. So, One word yeah. having multiple meanings and compensated in it is different. He's the leader and he's also the most influential and he's also the one who kind of people go for advice. That is not giving multiple different explanations. That is telling you all that is compensated in that word. For example, if you look at Pluto or whatever, they never took some courses in philosophy because they came up with Pluto. Was Mickey Mouse and Plato, you have Homer, you have all of those. I got you. In English, they have a word Anthropomorphism. I don't know why they put so many syllables in there. However, he's also been caught lying so many times we can't rule that out either. In the Quran, in a hadith, for example, when we talk about them being Rusul, right? This puts them at the same thing as being a Messiah. Right? Really? Yeah. Somebody so, who's so bringing where, a message. Where is, where, okay, so what is the reference for that? He told me he was going to bring some books, literally quote, don't worry, come back next week, I'll bring you some books. Brought me a piece of paper. In the piece of paper that he brought, he claimed it was a hadith. He has a master's in it, by the way. Master's in hadith studies. He brought me a hadith that actually has a narration that has nothing to do with messiahs. Nothing to do with it at all. It has to do with the Sharia law compared to man-made laws now. And then what he did was, in the hadith, there's a, the publisher and the editor puts their footnote in there and he quotes the footnote, merges the footnote with the narration and quotes the footnote that has a typo in it, by the way. We had an incident today as I was downtown San Diego and there was a guy in a truck. He tried to attack me physically and you'll see the altercation. And, and even though I punched him and he was too cowardly to fight me like a man, he took a knife and he tried to cut me. We have your weapon that's been given to the police. A, file, a report has already been filed. The detectives are on the case. An article here, it says, Did a Muslim preacher in San Diego stage a hate crime against himself? 
no, no, no. I'm not going to rush to the hospital. I'm not going to seek medical treatment. I'm going to take a picture. Now that, to me, pretty much gives the game away. I don't think any reasonable person would do that. There's just one problem. This is the author speaking. There is little, if any, evidence to indicate that this alleged Islamophobic hate crime against Uthman ever took place. Little to no evidence. Repeated inquiries to the San Diego police indicate that no report about the stabbing was ever filed and that no arrest has been made. Sheikh Uthman never made a claim to the police department that he was ever stabbed, despite the fact he said he did. Sharkey stated that Uthman had not filed a report to the San Diego police department after the incident. And then he shows you the email. And here's the thing. If Uthman is lying, he's only following his Sharia which prescribes obligatory lying. And he's doing it in the preferred way. Saying something that is technically true, there are no dietary marks in the Qurans, after all, while deceiving the audience into thinking something different. If you don't believe me about obligatory lying, then click here for the proof.